Hi, I'm Marna and this is a Dolls Rescue Channel. Today is day two of our Halloween plus Rainbow High. This is my uh, Rainbow High twin Laurel and I made her a Halloween fitted skirt with darts, a little top and um, tights. They're actually thigh highs is what they are, stockings, that's what they are, and little shoes. I used uh, this same pattern. I've used this simplicity pattern. Um, it's simplicity 4702. I've used this several times. This, uh, is that B? I think it's B. Yeah, it's B. And I left the um, ruffle off and I cut it large and then I added um, darts to the front and to the back to accommodate the rainbow high build. And then for the top, I used Chelly Woods Free Pattern. I've been making a lot of these dresses. Um, they kind of look like this when they're done, only I did them a little different. Um, but I used this bodice top uh, to make her top. I think it turned out cute. I'm pleased with her outfit and shoes, and this is how I did it. Okay, I have the first stocking stitch in, as you can see. It's shapely like the Rainbow High doll leg. To make this easier, making the second stocking, what I'm gonna do is I'm putting on that one behind her. And then I'm sliding this up the leg and I'm going to make enough room between these stitches where I can cut these when I cut them together. What you want to do is, if I can get these pins out, is run your pin exactly where you want your seam. And you pull these out right as you sew down the line. You pull it out before your sewing machine gets to the uh, next pin. And a lot of times I'll put my nail right on it the direction I'm going. When you get to the foot, when I get to the foot, I usually come in at an angle so that you know it's the foot and, and exactly where to end. A lot of times I just do it flat across right there and then an angle here. Sorry, I said that wrong. And then I have the angle of the foot at to the heel right there. Darren prints these shoe soles on his 3D printer for me. He actually uh, took doll feet and calibrated the, the um, calculations so that it would fit the bottom of the foot. And then what I do, I just cut the, um, this is on the 3D print for stabilization of the shoe while it's being printed. How long do these take to print? 12 minutes or so a piece? Each, yeah. So 24 minutes for a pair of shoes. And um, you don't just walk over to a 3D printer and, um, you know, it's not like a copy machine with paper. It takes time. Um, for instance, Darren, how long does a stand take to make? About three hours. About three hours for this sort of stand. Yeah. Yeah. Um, a lot of people think that just comes up instant. What I'm doing is measuring to see. I'm using elastic today. I rather like that. And I'm pulling that around kind of snug, putting my fingernail where I want to cut it. I use the hot glue gun. I go up into the arch of the back of the shoe. If you wanted to get fancy, you could make an um, insole and put it all between. I don't, I should, I should try that, but I'm rather lazy. And then it just takes a second to dry um, and you put that on the foot. Now, I brought out rubber bands to show you. Uh, Jamie at Let's Talk About It With, uh, let me get my pokey thing. When I use the elast elastic, I've been doing it kind of tight so that the shoe stays on well. But I'm going to show you what Jamie, um, when you get dolls from the store, a lot of times they have um, 
rubber bands around the shoe and I always took those off. Well, the idea is that that keeps your shoe on and especially a mule. Now, I always make fun of the rainbow high toes. Let me grab a doll and show you what I'm talking about. To me, their little toes are about as big as their big toes, but I have noticed that when shoes go on the Rainbow High Dolls, they stay on, and I like that. Um, the mules that I make, these, with ribbon, um, have a problem staying on. They go on, they stay on in the stand, and there's no problem. However, um, when you're moving the dolls around, you can lose them. This is what Jamie taught us. Take that around once and come up under the heel. You can't see it on especially a nude leg and then you don't lose your shoe. So what I'm going to attempt next is to redo her hair. I did this, I took her hair down and I washed it. I had no idea how long this doll's hair was. I was so surprised and it just washed up beautifully. But look at this, if you've never taken one of these Rainbow High Doll Twins. Our Yorkie is hearing everything this morning. If you have never taken one of these dolls' hair down, I'm gonna, oh, that got stuck in my brush. Look at that. It's as long as she is tall. I love it. Make no mistake. And then you got the shorter up here. So what I had done, I was gonna do like a high pony, but I took it and I went around once, and as I was coming back, I kind of caught it like that. I do this in my own hair when I get in the bathtub. And it kind of didn't come out as good. Wait just a second. I'm gonna use two rubber bands this time. I only used one the first time, but I'm having a little trouble. Ah, if I can get that coming around, evidently not. No, I'm never gonna get it nice again, but I still like it. It's kind of cute, just has that little poof to it. And then all that little wavy curl. I like it. I think this is a beautiful doll. I don't know if you noticed, but Laurel is wearing hoop earrings and Darren pierced her ears. And if you did not watch our yesterday's video with our junior high rainbow high doll, there is a tutorial on how to do those earrings with a drill. Thank you for watching the Dolls Rescue channel. Please leave a like, a comment, and subscribe.